Okay, so I'm modifying this uh, steering column. I want to use the original column because I want it to look as original as possible. And so I've taken the column out of the car. I've taken the intermediate shaft. It's like the uh, automatic transmission uh, shaft that turns internally that uh, then runs like a cable or whatever it does to go to the transmission. I'm not sure what it ran um, exactly because I don't have the transmission. I never got it with the car. So I went to uh, my local parts store and asked them if they had any bearings that had a three quarter inch ID to a two and a quarter inch OD, because that's basically what this is. And they said no. And so then I started looking at bearings that had three quarter inch ID and uh, found this. It has an inch and three eighths OD, which fits right inside of an inch and a half OD exhaust pipe, which they expanded to go to whatever size this is. I assume that's probably two inch OD. And then they expanded that to two and a quarter. Um, and that's pretty tight. That's I didn't want to go any tighter because it, further you go in, the tighter it gets, it seems. I cut off the end of this. This is where that automatic transmission arm, uh, the intermediate column came out at. And uh, I cut that off because it was sticking out too far anyway. And then this was interfering, this little, uh, some sort of rope that goes in, that goes internally on this. I'm not sure what that is. But I'm going to take it out or just leave it. It don't matter. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this. Stick it in as far as I can. Get a good bead of weld around there. And weld around here. And then I'll probably tack weld this bearing in. Because it's it sits in there. And I could just shove up the uh, intermediate shaft to it. And it would be fine. But I'd like to tack weld it just so it never spins. Um, like that. I'd like it just to the bearings to spin. Those aren't very good bearings. But I mean they'll. They'll do the job. It's just a steering shaft. So that's going to be what I'm working with. Um, I could have replaced this whole thing with a new column and just ran the stock shaft and stock wheel. But to do that, I was going to have to find... I guess I could have put a bearing in the top end of this and the bottom end of that, but then I'd have to put an aftermarket... Uh, what do they call that freaking thing? Turn signal switch in it. I think this one works. Everything looks like it works. I haven't hooked it up. All the wiring is here for it. I'm hoping this still works. Uh, this one wire needs to be fixed or taped up at least. Uh, probably just use some li liquid electrical tape on that. But that's my plan as of now, as I'm going to weld this all together. Um, for now, I'm not going to weld any of it. I'm going to stick it in there, see what the length of it works like with the intermediate shaft. I may have to cut more of this off, but so far this is like where the inside of the firewall is and that's where the outside is once you get this whole deal on there. And this isn't really working right now, but I think I can take this apart and kind of shove it up in there and then put it back on and then put a couple set screws through it and it'll kind of keep the water out and it'll spin on there. So that's, that's my plan as of now. Um, the stock steering shaft, if I can find where he set it. Uh, I cut it off of here, cut it off the gearbox. I started unthreading it. I could almost like get it out, but then it stopped. I think you have to take this part off and then it might unthread all the way out, but I don't need all that anyway. So I just cut it off. And then this is that intermediate shaft that goes inside that column um, and goes around the shaft. So, oh, here's the shaft. I started sanding it just a little bit with 320 and uh, came out really clean really quickly. So, I mean, that's just like two seconds of sanding right there. And this is just wrap sanding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sand the whole thing probably. I like this shaft and I like that wheel because it's um, splined. So anytime I get an alignment, I can just recenter the wheel and it won't be a problem. Um, so yeah, this top end has a bushing, like a, I don't know what kind of bushing, but it's got a bushing. We're just gonna leave it as a bushing and not a bearing because that's what it came with originally. Should be fine. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this down some more and then grind down and make it like uh, two flat spots on one on each side. I think that's called like a double D shaft. Um, 
and then I'm gonna have to put a divot in one side of that that will uh, accept my intermediate shaft, which is sitting over here. Intermediate shaft has a uh, three quarter round, but it's got two flat spots and then one divot where the bolt goes through. And then that way you don't ever have it come loose on you, hopefully. So that's, that's the plan. Um, both sides are like that and it is collapsible, which is a safety precaution, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I don't remember what I took this out of, what I ordered it out of, but I'll try to look it up online and let y'all know because that one's pretty short and it's pretty universal and a fact that it'll work on any three quarter inch shaft with a grinder. So I do have this all the way bolted up. It's pretty stout. I got the, uh, the slave cylinder in there. It's stout. Um, I gotta figure out some sort of mount for this, which is gonna be easy. I just gotta do it. And then um, I gotta build a cover that goes over this or over the top of it or something, um, which isn't a big deal. It's just, it needs to be done at some point. But I'm not worried about that now. I'm Right now I'm worried about the steering because the steering is so complicated being that this shaft doesn't really have any play. Like it does have up and down play, but no side to side play. And I'm kind of wondering if that up and down play is gonna interfere and cause havoc. I may have to put a bearing on this and a bracket. Um, and in that case, I'm going back to town and getting the bearing, so. If that's the case, that's not a big deal. It's just, it needs to be done. Um, and I have to build a bracket that comes up off of the frame, not the control arm, because the control arm moves, so. Not a big deal, just something that I've thought about since then, and probably something I'll have to go do, so. I'm gonna cut the end of this off, wherever it needs to be cut off, probably somewhere in here. Um, wherever that intermediate shaft lines up at. After I put the whole column in, I'll measure everything out and then I'll cut it off and then I'll go ahead and grind the ends of it. And it's gonna go in and out like eight times, but it'll work. So I did get the engine bay kind of halfway painted. Um, that's not all the way done yet, but I didn't want it to be a complete eyesore when you open the hood. Um, still kind of an eyesore but it's it's coming it's coming along it's i'm gonna clean i'm gonna clean up and paint the uh, intercooler you can see there where i started to paint it it looks okay it's got most of it's gonna be covered up by a uh, condenser anyway um what else i'd like to clean that gunk out of there and paint that better uh maybe paint the turbo housing um being that i painted all this stuff you know I wish I could paint that, but I really don't want to take all the injector lines off right now. So I just painted the intake horn for now. Um, so yeah, I'll probably paint the turbo housing because that's pretty grody looking. Um, or at least try to clean it up. I don't know. The, I want to paint that box and find out if I can run that fan or if I have to make a new box or whatever, but I think what else I gotta do. Oh, windshield wipers. I don't even have a clue as to what I'm doing there yet. Probably just for now, coating that windshield and as much rain X as possible and rolling with it. Um, eventually, I need wipers though. So, what else? Oh, I got the whole cut for the transmission tunnel uh, for the manual shift trans. Um, I gotta put the ignition switch back in it, figure out how to wire that up. I have no idea how to wire those, so that's gonna be a learning curve. Uh, I gotta put the pedals in, but I don't wanna put the pedals in until the column's done. That way I know for sure that I'm not interfering with anything. And if I have to modify the pedals a little bit, I can modify the pedals a little bit. Probably pull this out to clean it. Not sure if I'm gonna paint this or not. Not sure if I'm gonna paint this or not. 
I don't want to see any fresh black paint when the hood and the bumper are on. The only fresh black paint you'll see is the inner wheel well and maybe the frame if you're standing back far enough. So the body is not, well, I guess I didn't film any of that. I got the body back on it. Every bolt's back in it. Uh, I just used really thick um, self-tapping screws for this with washers. I pre-drilled them. Uh, the rear, I mean, there's 12 body bolts plus those three screws, so I don't think there's going to be any problem. Every single spot where the Oldsmobile was bolted to the frame is bolted plus a couple extra spots. So the, oh, the door's all shut good now. I had a problem there for a little bit where they weren't really opening and shutting, but... Now that I got everything bolted back down, it's good to go. Door panels, I gotta make those yet. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a column in this and hopefully finish the steering today. All right, so I got the steering shaft somewhat in here. Uh, I welded up everything and then I welded another washer onto the end of that so that the, uh, hopefully it doesn't rub on the bearing the intermediate shaft doesn't rub on the, out, the outer edge of the bearing and uh so yeah that uh it's fully extended so if we were getting a rack it should collapse and not have too much of a problem i do have a problem down here where um that's wanting to interfere with my brakes my brake lines So I'm gonna put a collar around this with two bearings in it and weld that, or bolt it rather, to the frame. And then uh, have to cut a little bit more of that so it can turn just fine. But it should turn out pretty good once I put that in. And then I'll clear these brake lines as well. And uh, it's just two more of those three quarter inch ID, one three eighths inch OD bearings with a piece of one and a half inch OD exhaust pipe welded to them. And then the bracket welded to the middle of the exhaust pipe. So, and then bolt it to the frame or I could, it'd be easier to weld it, but I'll probably just bolt it. Probably make something that, find out what goes through here and drill that out if I can might be the motor mount though. Yeah, it's motor mount. I can't drill that out. So I'll have to go to there and maybe another new hole or something. Or maybe I'll have to put a weld on part of it. I could just weld it and then cut it off if I ever have to because it's never going to need to come off unless I need to rebuild that inner part of that shank there, the, this little box. But I just rebuilt that so I should be good. And if I ever have to build the uh, the steering gear box, I can just slide it off the end of that once I drive out the roll pin. So that's my plan for tomorrow. I gotta cut that a little bit and I gotta get two more of those bearings. And it should be cherry. Well, I got uh, one more brace to add to the steering column right there at the firewall. I'm just gonna make something that uh, goes around it on. Like drill, drill a hole through a piece of metal and then cut it in half, weld it to the column and bolt it to the firewall. And then I've got my inner rim shaft here. And it's bolted down to the factory uh, steering shaft coming out of the gearbox. I've got a uh, two bearings, one on each end here for that shaft to go in and it holds that to the frame, it's bolted to the frame with a gusseted bracket. Um, I feel like I could have made a better bracket if I had a little bit better material to work with, but for now this is gonna work. I'm gonna lob off the end of this and uh, yeah, it won't interfere with the, um, I don't think it'll interfere with this. If it does, then I'm in trouble, but I can cut off the bottom of it if I have to, and then just work off of it and build something. I mean, this is solid with this. So 
I can always add something here if I need to.